Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Bornstead. So I have a very interesting topic that I want to discuss with you guys today. And the title of this is going to be, Could Ginger Be the Answer to the Bird Flu? Could Ginger Increase the Profits of Your Homestead, Your Hobby Farm, Your Farmstead, or Your Farm? Now, we all know that ginger is an herb, and it has been used for millennia all over the world for different therapeutic treatments. But how many of you know how important this little root is for the animals on your farm? So let's get into that topic right now. Be sure to watch all the way through the video. At the very end, Papa Sammy is gonna give us tips on container growing ginger year round with no additional water than what the sky drops for you and no commercialized fertilizers. Now let's get into chickens because that is truly the topic, right? Could ginger be the answer to the bird flu? Possibly. What I found out was that when you feed ginger to chickens, you improve their appetite. You help with digestion. You can cure constipation. But what I really found extremely interesting is that it has been proven that ginger is very effective against the flu okay it also strengthens immune systems and is considered a probiotic as well as a prebiotic it is also used to help worm livestock now the way that you can feed ginger to your chickens is in powder form root form or in a tea so what we're going to do now we're going to grate up this piece of ginger into a pot with some water and we're gonna boil it for five minutes. Then we are gonna take that water, we're gonna pour it into the water for our chickens, essentially making sure that they get the amount of ginger that you want them to. I'm also gonna dice up some tiny pieces of ginger and when I beat out this evening, I'm gonna add that in there as a nice little tasty treat for them. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this smells amazing. Wow, who needs scented candles when you can bolt some ginger on your stew? Do you know that you can even give ginger to your quail and other small types of birds? I was so impressed with that information. Now with a bird that small, you really might wanna powder your ginger or go with ginger oil. You can add the oil to the water and you can add the powder into their feed and they'll just eat it. Now what the really interesting thing about ginger and quail is it will actually increase their egg laying capacity. Now we all know if you raise quail, that's impressive because these little birds put out eggs constantly, but you can actually increase that. And on top of that, you can increase the quality of the nutrients found in your quail eggs. Wouldn't we all wanna do that? Because if you're forming, we all know food is medicine, but it will also reduce flock mortality. So I'm finding more and more ways to use this ginger around my farm. And I am so impressed guys, like who knew that ginger could increase the life expectancy of your animals. It would help with digestion, increase the nutrient density found in the eggs and the meat that you're eating. So I really hope this information helps you. Now there's something I wanna to talk to you about because we all know how important our dogs on our farms really are. You can use ginger to treat and prevent heartworms. You can also use ginger to help your dog's arthritis as they get older. But one of the most interesting things I found out about ginger, guys, is that it can help to prevent cancer. You can beat it to your dogs in powder. You can boil it after you've grated it, like I'm going to do for the chickens, and put it in their water. Or you can dice it up very finely and add it into their organic diets. So I really hope that this helps you extend the life of your dog and give them a better life while they're with you. Ginger and rabbits, you heard me correct. Ginger and rabbits. Did you know that your rabbit can eat the leaf, the stem, or the root of ginger? 
that's perfectly okay for them and non-toxic. What I found most interesting about ginger and rabbits comes from the fact that it will actually help your rabbits survive during heat issues, okay? So what they were talking about that if you give ginger powder to your rabbits, either in their water, mixed in with their water, or you boil the ginger down like we're gonna do for the chickens and the dogs and add it to their water source, that it will actually improve their growth performance. So they will grow faster and it will enhance survival rates under heat stress. Now, 2022 was the very first time that Starkey Formstead had heat related deaths and it came from one of our best producing does. She died three days before she delivered or she was due to deliver. The heat was that bad this year. If I would have known this, could I have saved her? And that is why I'm sharing it with you. I will be adding ginger snacks for my rabbits. You don't just have to use the powder, the oil or the grated down in the water. You can actually feed rabbits slices of ginger. Now you don't wanna to do too big of a piece each day because we all know how finicky rabbits can be and how sensitive their digestive tracts can be. But you can definitely feed this as a natural treat for your grow outs and your pregnant does. Now, here's the big kicker. Did you guys know that ginger can increase the amount of viable sperm and semen for your male rabbits? Something to think about. Our two bucks over there, we have one that has always been a great breeder. He's three years old and we have gotten 13 kits off of him. Not once, but twice, but consistently 12. So he's a great breeder. So I'm curious if I had ginger to his diet, what is Starkey Formstead gonna get out of that buck? Something else about rabbits that we all know is that rabbits aren't real big water drinkers. In fact, their urine is very, very concentrated. And this is why. That's one of the reasons it makes a great natural organic fertilizer, the urine does as well as a great pest deterrent. But if you add ginger, ginger root meal to your rabbit's diets, it'll increase their water intake. It will help them grow out faster and at an earlier age. So that's just a way that you can increase profits with your rabbits by adding ginger to their diets. So during the winter months, this is our nursery. These are all of our pregnant does breastfeeding dough. So this rabbit right here was nicknamed Bad Mama. She had multiple cases of miscarriage, of total misses, and still birthing rates. Like it, it just never seemed like we could get any viable living kits off of this mom. What I realized guys was that her diet was insufficient. Pellets, just was not enough for her. So I began to add comfrey, rosemary, basil, hay, whole oats, black oil sunflower seeds to this mom's diet. And I just wanna show you how well she did with this last litter. She delivered 12 and we still have eight but I'm really proud of her, but she's a she's gotten to where she really likes her natural diets. So let's see how she feels about a little bit of ginger. They say that the smell of the ginger can be off-putting. Uh-oh, sorry about that, mom. Look, I'll put it in your feeder for you. See if you can find that. Here you go, sweetie. Well, guys, it looks like they'll definitely eat it. <laughs> Let's talk about ruminants, cows, goats, sheep. So what I have found out as I did a little bit of research and dug into this topic of ginger and its uses for our homestead 
What I found was that ginger has been used before when cows bloat. What happens is it is full of micronutrients like copper, magnesium, aluminum, calcium, and chromium. These are micronutrients that we all know that goats need, especially goats, correct? I mean, like everybody's always having to supplement with minerals and micronutrients for their goats. Well, adding ginger as dicing it up and adding it to their feed will help them digest their food. And it's also considered a prebiotic. Now, what I found very interesting is if you're into naturally worming your animals, a paste made with garlic and ginger can be used to worm your goats and your sheep. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Why you prep? You prep it, whether you use it or not. This was planted two years ago. I don't water it, I don't mess with it, I don't have to. Look at the soil. That's amazing. I mean, that, look, just look at that. I know. And look at the, look at the ginger. Look at it. I mean, it's all over, and I planted it over here originally. I haven't messed with it. I haven't even harvested it. I gotta come, uh, let me see. Oh yeah. Look at that. That, that beautiful? is beautiful. Oh. And look, survived two nine, three nineteen degree days. See it trying to look, look at this. I don't water this. I, 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 look, I keep it composted. Throw a little worm poop in there. Throw a few handfuls, of, not handfuls. Throw a couple dozen worms in here once in a while. And look at that. I don't buy fertilizer. If it grows, it grows. If it don't, it don't. Without any chemicals, any fertilizer, anything else. Tell me you can buy that in the store. Wow. That's beautiful, isn't it? That is beautiful. And look wow. at the color. And smell it. <laughs> there, that's the chest right there. And see, like I said, as cold as it's been, it's trying to bloom again. See the color? Oh yeah. I just keep it covered. I don't, like I said, I don't mess with it. Compost, worm compost. Holds moisture. It, it's, it's like uh, peat moss. It, when you, I mean, it, it'll just absorb water to it. It just swells up almost to bust. But uh, that's why I don't buy the water. I, I've got it composted. I got it, the, the, uh, worm castings in there, and you see the result. I really hope that this video helps you, that it encourages you to go further with finding ways that you can use ginger for your livestock and your pets to help them breed better, to help them intake their water, to help them during the hot, hot months keep their body cooler, to increase the nutrient density of their eggs and their meat and their byproducts, because it's all about health. And we know that as we go on this journey, because if, if you watch this video, you've already started that journey and good for you. But as we go on this journey, we have to learn to use everything that's available to us. Modern medicines, pharmaceuticals, have as many problems using them and health risks to using them as they do health benefits. So if you've ever used ginger in any of these ways or another very unique way to treat any livestock, pet, or even yourself, please share that with us in the comments. This is a forum and a platform for all of us to learn because this is a lifelong journey. Nobody's ever really gonna know everything, but we all know a little. And if we're willing to share that with each other freely and openly, then what we can do is that we can bring ourselves to a new level of living. Because here at Starkey Formstead, we are debt free. It is our goal to steward these animals to the very best of our ability. And if you watched our video on picking your New Year's resolution word, you know that mine for 2023 is stewardship. 
So today I learned something about stewarding the quail, the chickens, the rabbits, the goat, and the dogs that are in my care. And it means a lot to me to hear about other people's journeys doing the same thing. So you guys have a blessed day. May God prosper you. May he grow you and may you get something in the ground. Thank you for rowing in our boat and allowing us to row in yours.